Hi, sweetie pie. More poems tonight. And um, this one, these ones are from a big book of poems, The Golden Book's Family Treasury of Poetry, selected and with a commentary by Louis Untermeyer. And so um, they have so many more than the other books we've been reading, and they group them. There's a whole bunch about cats. There's a whole bunch about birds and even a bunch about chickens. So I thought we'd start with those. Um, it says, the hen might seem a prosaic barnyard subject with few possibilities for poetry, but observe what different things different poets see in her. Um, and then they tell us what's coming up. So let's just dive right in. The hens. This is by Elizabeth Maddox Roberts. The night was coming very fast. It reached the gate as I ran past. The pigeons had gone to the tower of the church, and all the hens were on their perch. Up in the barn, and I thought I heard a piece of a little purring word. I stopped inside, waiting and staying to try to hear what the hens were saying. They were asking something that was plain, asking it over and over again. One of them moved and turned around. Her feathers made a ruffled sound. A ruffled sound, like a bush full of birds, and she said her little asking words. She pushed her head close into her wing, but nothing answered anything. Curious? Not sure I understand. This, the comment, commentator says that Elizabeth Maddox Roberts looks at the hen with the eyes of a wondering child. I think I'm going to read it again. The hens. The night was coming very fast. It reached the gate as I ran past. The pigeons had gone to the tower of the church, and all the hens were on their perch. Up in the barn, and I thought I heard a piece of a little purring word. I stopped inside, waiting and staying, to try to hear what the hens were saying. They were asking something that was plain, asking it over and over again. One of them moved and turned around. Her feathers made a ruffled sound, a ruffled sound like a bush full of birds, and she said her little asking words. She pushed her head close into her wing, but nothing answered anything. I think the birds are going to bed. They're going up. They're up on their roosts, and that's kind of what they do. When I locked the door this evening on my hens, they were already up on the roost. It was a rainy day, and they'd been out about the yard, and then they went in, and they were already in the. They weren't standing. They were in the roosting position, like ready for bed, and it's a little bit like the sound that they're describing here. The next poem is called The Complete Hen, and it's by Elizabeth Coatsworth. Now and again I like to see a hen who still runs wide and free, who crosses roads and flies or ditches, who cackles till she gets the stitches, who hunts for grasshoppers in the stubble and scratches merrily in old rubble, who cocks her head when roosters crow, who knows all things that hens should know when to obey the housewife's call, and when to pay no heed at all, where grubs go best, grow best and how to roost on some low branch without a boost, and last of all, to prove her worth, her nearness to the rights of earth. Let her become an agitator, fixed enemy to the incubator, and obstinately steal her nest and shelter chicks beneath her breast. The Complete Hen. That's what that one was called. Called. We had a hen shelter chicks beneath her breast. You're going to see that one day, too. You're going to have chicks of your own. The chicks are now full grown, and they started laying eggs a few weeks ago. This is a picture. There aren't as many pictures in this book, but there's a few, and they're quite nice. Five Little Chickens, that's the next poem, and this one is by 
Not sure. It doesn't say. Oh, it's an unknown author. Said the first little chicken with a queer little squirm. Oh, I wish I could find a fat little worm. Said the next little chicken with an odd little shrug. Oh, I wish I could find a fat little bug. Said the third little chicken with a sharp little squeal. Oh, I wish I could find some nice yellow meal. Said the fourth little chicken with a small sigh of grief. Oh, I wish I could find a green little leaf. Said the fifth little chicken with a faint little moan. Oh, I wish I could find a wee gravel stone. Now see here, said the mother from the green garden patch. If you want any breakfast, you must come and scratch. And scratch they do, don't they? My goodness me, but they, they love to scratch. Today when I let them out, they were all instantly scratching. The ground was wet. It had rained much of the day and probably some of last night. And scratching was fun and easy with lots of bugs and worms at the surface because the ground isn't frozen. And this is a very cute picture. I really like these. Okay, so there you go. Three little poems about chickens. Now I'm going to read that last one again, just because it's kind of nice to hear it twice. Said the first little chicken with a queer little squirm, Oh, I wish I could find a fat little worm. Said the next little chicken with an odd little shrug, Oh, I wish I could find a fat little bug. Said the third little chicken with a sharp little squeal, Oh, I wish I could find some nice yellow meal. Said the fourth little chicken with a small sigh of grief, Oh, I wish I could find a green little leaf. Said the fifth little chicken with a faint little moan, Oh, I wish I could find a wee gravel stone. Now see here, said the mother from the green garden patch, If you want any breakfast, you must come and scratch. Now our five little chickens, our many little chickens, will have all of those things tomorrow. A fat little worm, a fat little bug, some nice yellow meal, a green little leaf, a wee gravel stone. We give them all of that. Okay, very good set of poems here, and um, we'll read more soon. I love you, sweetie pie. Bye-bye.